Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I want to explain the difference between balance and stereo pan on stereo channels in Logic. This seems to be a topic that a lot of people are confused about, so I figured I'd do a video to clarify this here. Real quick though, I actually explain this topic as well as talk about binaural pan, as well as many other advanced mixing topics in my advanced mixing course over at macprovideo.com. So if you wanna see a detailed 31 part mixing and mastering course in Logic, you can check that out as well. Okay, so let's get right into this. So if you weren't already aware, you can actually right click on any pan knob, either stereo or mono in Logic, and you'll get different options, different pan mode options. So with mono channels like this one, you just get two options, pan and binaural pan. Just FYI, I will not be talking about binaural pan at all in this video, but again, I do cover it in my advanced mixing course. So mono pan is pretty simple. If you have a mono channel set to center pan, then the channel it's going to, in this case, it'll be the stereo output, will just duplicate that signal equally on the left and right sides. So you can see in the stereo output, it's the exact same signal just duplicated on the left and right sides. If you pan over to the left a bit, you'll see that the right channel drops. And if I pan over to the right, you'll see that the left channel drops. So it's just balancing the signal in the stereo output. And notice that the level of the louder channel in the stereo output does not increase as you pan the channel to the left or to the right. It's just reducing the volume of one of the channels. So that's mono pan, very simple, but I wanted to explain that first before I jump into stereo pan. So here's a stereo track, it's just a synth bass. And you can see it does have some stereo information. It has some variation between the left and right channels. And if I right click or control click on this, you get three options, stereo pan, balance, and binaural pan. Again, I'm just gonna focus on balance and stereo pan. So the thing about using the balance mode, which is actually the default mode in Logic for stereo tracks, the tricky thing here is that when you use balance mode for you know panning to the left, for example, all you're doing is reducing the volume of the right channel. And likewise, if I pan this over to the right, all I'm doing is reducing the volume of the left channel. Now that might sound all fine and dandy, but the problem is that using balance mode on stereo material can be dangerous. For example, if I pan hard left, I'm completely losing any information that was in the right channel. It's just like muting the right channel. And vice versa, if I pan something hard right using balance mode, I'm just muting the left channel is all I'm doing. Now this may not be a big deal for loops and synths like this where there's just a little bit of stereo variation between the channels, but if you have a stereo recording you made with two microphones, say acoustic guitar, for example, and maybe you doubled up the, the stereo acoustic guitars and you wanted to pan one left and one right. If you use balance mode to do this, especially if you hard pan them, all you're doing is muting the right channel in your left guitar and muting the left channel in your right guitar or stereo recording, whatever it ends up being. So balance mode can be dangerous because you lose information with it. A better option for this would be stereo pan. In stereo pan, if I pan something over to the left, say like this, I'm not losing the right channel information. I'm just moving the right channel and panning the right channel over into the left channel. So it actually, especially if I like hard pan it like this, you're essentially just summing both left and right channels into the left channel. And in a lot of cases, it just sounds better. Notice though, when you hard pan, because it's summing those two channels, left and right, into the left channel, um, that the left channel is gonna be louder. Or 
or likewise, if I pan hard right, the right channel is going to be louder again because we're summing information together. Now, if that's still a little confusing, let me show you one last example that I think will explain it really well. So I have a channel here that has drums on just the left channel and bass just on the right channel. Now, if I use balance mode and I pan this hard left, I'm only going to hear the drums because it's on the left channel and we're muting the right channel by hard panning. And if I pan this hard right, it's muting the left channel, so I'm only going to hear the bass. Now, this is just a proof of concept here. This is not a practical example. But you can see when I hard pan to the left, it's just rolling down the volume of the bass and the right channel. So you just completely lose that information. So imagine this, instead of being drum and bass, being stereo variation in a stereo recording. You know, especially like if, you know, say you're miking a, a couple string instruments. Maybe you get a cello and a violin and you want to pan them over to the left side of your mix. If you use balance... Whatever instrument was on the right side, uh, you know, being picked up by the right channel, by the right microphone, that's just going to get dropped in volume and you're going to lose that instrument in the mix. So this is where stereo pan ends up being a much, much better option. Watch what happens if I do the same uh, with stereo pan. Both channels are present no matter how I pan it. If I pan it over to the left, the right channel gets moved over into the left channel. If I pan it to the right, the left channel gets moved over into the right channel and the information is summed together. So the big takeaway here is that using balance mode on stereo channels has nothing to do with pan or positioning. It only has to do with a simple volume control, whereas stereo pan does position everything in that stereo recording in the mix the way you want it. In other DAWs, Pro Tools in particular, uh, it separates its stereo channels with individual stereo pan controls. This is essentially just like stereo pan mode in Logic. It's just a little different to use. The upside to this is in Pro Tools, you'll never accidentally balance a stereo channel and lose information like you can in Logic, and you have easy independent control of the left and right channels. You have independent control over the stereo channels in Logic as well. It's just a little more different uh, to work with. I find it's not quite as easy to work with as it is in Pro Tools. The downside is that Pro Tools has two separate automation lanes for stereo pan, one for the left channel, one for the right channel. So if you want to automate the position of a stereo instrument in your mix, it's a little more work in Pro Tools because you have to automate two parameters to make it happen. Whereas in Logic, you can do this with a single automation control. And the last thing I want to touch on is when to use stereo pan. Anytime you're going to be adjusting the pan of a recording made in stereo, meaning that you used two microphones to record in stereo, so things like acoustic guitar and other acoustic instruments, for example, anytime you're recording something like this, you absolutely want to use stereo pan if you're going to pan that instrument in the mix. There's really no reason not to. Now, if you have a stereo channel and you're just keeping it center, then it doesn't matter. You're not panning anything, um, so it'll, it'll sound the same regardless of what mode you're in. However, in the past, I have used balance mode here and there when I've had stereo channels with very little variation in the channels. I've also used it when I have two microphones on a guitar amp. Sometimes stereo pan sounds better. Sometimes balance sounds better in these situations. It's just a matter of taste, so you can really go... Either way, you'll get more phase interaction um, if you use stereo pan mode for this. But again, in some of these situations, you can go either way. But as just a general rule, if you're hard panning stereo channels, it's generally a better option to use stereo pan mode. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I have the advanced mixing course available now over at MacProVideo.com if you want to check that out. If you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And as always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.